Today we're going to be checking out and test driving a pretty badass 1968 Chevelle Super Sport. This is a real Super Sport car that underwent a uh, rotisserie restoration probably 20 years ago. Uh, so the, ro the restoration has some age on it, but a beautiful car, very straight and solid body, um, and a great sounding big block under the hood. And again, this is a factory SS 68 Chevelle, 138 in the VIN. Under the hood, you got a big block 396. I really love the detail they put in um, under the hood with the chromed out inner fenders. Really finished this thing out nice. Engine runs super healthy, ton of power coming out of this big block. One thing you'll notice with this car throughout is the touch of silver uh, paint. You'll notice it on the, the firewall, under the hood, um, and underneath the car. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com and check out the undercarriage photos, when they did this rotisserie restoration, they painted the floors and frame all that, that beautiful silver. Really makes this thing look sharp. Dual exhaust sounds awesome. You're not gonna surprise anybody with the power uh, by the sound of this dual exhaust. But the main thing is super straight car. You know, when you paint anything black, you gotta have a straight and solid car, and they definitely did on this one. As I mentioned, it's an older restoration, probably 20 years ago. So the paint does have some age on it. It's got a lot of little chips and some solvent pop in some areas. Uh, we buffed it out and it shines up nice. But as you can kind of see here, it's got just a little bit of um, kind of solvent pop in the in the paint and some chips as we go around it. But again, excellent body lines and gaps on the hood, the trunk, the doors. Everything fits really well. Bumper looks nice. That must have been re chrome during restoration. It's got a really nice shine to it. Grill looks nice with your correct SS396 emblems. Headlight bezels look like they could be original, but they're still in uh, really nice shape. So again, throughout, you're going to see some little solvent pop um, in that black paint. But I said, when, after we buff this thing, it's got an excellent shine. You'll notice they did the, the silver two-tone there at the bottom that kind of ties into the underneath of the car, the interior and under the hood with that red pinstripe. It makes this thing really stand out um, in a crowd of Chevelles. Again, we got some little chips and stuff that have been uh, touched up. But look how that door fits. You're not gonna get one to line up any better. I mean, that's why this this car could be painted black and, and uh, look how that lines up. Pretty spectacular. Corner of the doors are rust free. Door rubbers look like they're probably replaced during the restoration, but they're still, you know, a little older. Door panels are in good shape. They look like they could be the original, just a minor uh, wear around the armrest bases and window cranks, door handle. So the interior, they, they did something a little different as well, and it's really kind of growing on me. At first, I didn't know what to think about it, but uh, they're comfortable and they, they don't look bad. They did the same thing with the headliner too. Um, and it does tie in nice to the two-tone, the gray under the hood, and the gray on the undercarriage of this car. Dash pad's in beautiful shape. No cracks in the dash pad. Carpet's nice. Headliner's nice and tight. Back seat's in good shape. Said so if you really wanted to make this uh, a little nicer, you could get the, the new seat backs. These look like they are probably the originals. Painting the door jams was done really well. So you can tell when the restoration was done, you know, it was a really high dollar restoration. Just got some age on it, but the car, like I said, very straight, solid, sounds awesome. A few little paint chips here. But the way the trunk lines up, you're not gonna get it to fit any better than that. Exhaust sounds great. I haven't noticed any bubbles or blisters anywhere on this car. You got some minor rock chipping in that uh, that great great two tone there. Again, just some solvent pop here in the quarter. I don't know how much it's going to show up in the video. Solid. That little chip that's been touched up here and here. There. 
just down there on the bottom. No bubbles or blisters anywhere that I can see. The car's got a really nice stance with it. It's got those uh, those gray American racing wheels, which really just kind of add to the theme of this muscle car. Driver's side door panel, very similar shape to the passenger side. Most likely is original. You can just kind of tell when you look at the armrest faces. Corner of the door is rust free. Really quality car. You even tied that gray into the steering wheel on this SS396. We have two 68 Chevelles right now. This is gonna be the first one to the website. Uh, we also have a white one with red interior. And I love the gauge package on these Super Sports in 68. That tack is just really neat. Exhaust sounds awesome. The tack is not working on this one currently. You put in a aftermarket radio. If I can find a station, I'm sure it's gonna work for us. Maybe. heater fan works you got uh, your temp gauge down here an oil pressure gauge carries excellent oil pressure up to 65 pounds about 55 pounds at an idle gas gauge and of course your temp and oil pressure gauges are down here I remember the first time I drove this when it came in the car drives very nice horn works speedometer works Power steering makes it really nice to steer. I've drove a couple big block cars without power steering, and uh, I'll tell you, power steering is definitely nice to have when you got a big motor under the hood. It takes right off, chirps the tires. Here's your brakes. Idles down nice. Muscle car. Pulls down the road really nice. The speedometer is off a little bit. I'm guessing maybe the tire size uh, or the gear ratio took took the speedometer off a little bit. Uh, but you can get new gears to put on the, the speedometer cable and get that uh, going correct again. Uh, one finger on the wheel. No rattles or shakes. Really tight car. Jumped right up to speed, kick down works. This thing is sweet. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, thank you for watching.